First tonight, parents are looking for answers with cases of coronavirus reported at four Cherokee County schools. Three students have tested positive, while a teacher appears to also have symptoms, so it's forced those who were around them all to quarantine. People are asking us if there's a line where a school or an entire district has to shut down. Tracy A. McPierce set out to get answers for us tonight. Just four days after schools opened for in-person learning in Cherokee County, at least three students have tested positive for COVID-19. A first grader at Hasty Elementary School, an eighth grader at Dean Rusk Middle School, and a second grader at Sixes Elementary School. And there's another possible case of a kindergarten teacher at RM Moore. The overwhelming majority of parents in Cherokee County chose for their children to return in person. But some parents we talked to say these cases show that more could be done to stop COVID. They could do temperature checks as they enter the school building, and they could require the students to wear the face mask, at least when they cannot social distance. Been relying on the parents um, to be the ones to check the temperatures. A lot of parents don't even have thermometers. In all four cases this week, their classes were notified. So now what? Under DPH guidelines, if a person has mild symptoms, they can return to school after at least 10 days since symptoms appeared and 24 hours since the last fever without fever reducing medication. For someone with severe symptoms, they can return to school after 20 days since symptoms appeared and 24 hours since their last fever. For people who have no symptoms but were exposed without a mask, they must stay home for 14 days, monitor their temperature twice a day, and if possible, avoid others living in their home. Cherokee County doesn't have a tipping point where they would have to close a school, but neither does the Department of Public Health. That's because this isn't a one-size-fits-all situation, and they have to take factors like whether there was social distancing or whether students were wearing masks into consideration on a school-by-school -school basis. Now, this is an issue that districts across the state are dealing with right now.